Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be taking a look at the Squid Game's Red Light Green Light remix by Mike Candies. So I'm sure you guys have seen the videos of Zed and Kashmir and all these DJs playing all of the Squid Game's remixes, but this one just looked like it went off the most. So without any further ado, let's jump into a fell and take a stab at remaking the Red Light Green Light Mike Candies bootleg. So in a sense, this is a bit different to a normal remake that we'd do because we haven't got like a vocal as such. It's more of like a speech kind of thing. And then you've also got like sound effects like the bullets going off and the scanning dull as well from the series. So we'll try and see past all of the sound effects that might be missing here and there. But the very first sound that sets the tone of this remake is a hard style impact. And you can grab this one from Main Stage Volume 1. It's a really good pack if you want to make this kind of big room stuff. The next sound we're going to take a look at is a re-space which plays in the background and just sets a bit of like a vibe in the whole song. Um, so it's one note just being held and it's like a really low growly bass. So the note being played is an E note. And the preset we're using to achieve this sound is called Reese Devil, which you can also get in the Main Stage pack. So this is what we have so far. Red light, green light. You are allowed to move forward with it. And it just makes that creepy vibe straight away and just that kind of suspense element in the whole song. Next up, we've got this alarm sound which is playing in the background and again, just setting the whole vibe of the song. We'll be playing red light. As you can see, we've got some channel pitch automation, so we're automating that pitch, just bending it down. And the preset in use is called Illegal from Fish in the Lake Volume 2. So this is more of like a tech house kind of pack, um, but it's got all the perfect risers and like alarm sounds. And so finally, the last element I can hear in this starting area is this clap, which is kind of like a stadium or like a big kind of clap. This is how it sounds. It's being played quite sparingly, so it's being played every so often, there's quite big gaps. And I have thrown a reverb on there to kind of make it a bit seamless, the whole clap. But this kind of gives it a lot more release on the sound because it was missing in the sample. So this is everything we have so far. We'll be playing red light, green light. You are allowed to move forward when it shouts out green light. Stop when it shouts red light. So now we pass into the build section here where we've got a kick being introduced. Those players who cross the finish line without being eliminated within the five minute play time will pass. And then it speeds up on this build bit here. So where it achieves that kind of swingy effect um, is in the triplet sense of the whole song. And to make sure all your samples are in triplets, you can just put the third beat snap here and everything just goes straight to the beat, which is perfect. And you can really easily achieve these triplets. The next sound we have is this ravey lead, which is a really short decaying lead. Um, this is how it sounds. This is the MIDI we've got for it. As you can see, the key part of this is obviously being in the triplet mode, but also having such a short decay on the MIDI itself. So I've taken this really short. And to achieve this sound, we're using this preset called Big Rave, which you can also get in the main stage pack. So to carry on building that atmosphere and tension, what we've got is a Car Music Volume 4 snare, and I've just automated the modulation X, so that is kind of just giving it a low pass filter and opening the whole sound, uh, and then also some channel volume. And the entire time, it's just playing the exact same bit of MIDI. It's just being played on the third beat, so you get that triplet effect. As you hear, the sound gets louder and just opens up a lot more. But now obviously we're missing a lot of risers and just various uplifters to kind of really build up that tension before. So we're going to start with this triplet sweep, which is from Main Stage Volume 1. It's got so many good sweeps that are already in the triplet patterns or they're just like perfect to kind of give you that build you want for this triplet stuff. We then have this other tonal riser. Followed by this riser which is kind of occupying that mid top end a bit more. And then we have this riser here, which just adds a bit more chaos to the whole atmosphere, I guess you could say. And we're not done yet on the sweeps. We've got this one here. And this is adding noise, which is just basics if you want to get that sweep effect. We're then following that with this really detuned sweep. And then if we didn't have enough sweeps already, we've got this noise exhaust, which is just reversing into it. So all together on the build so far, we have this. And to kind of mark the start of this whole build section, I'm going to add this impact here, which just fills out all the top end and gives a lot more energy and kind of tension in here. We're then going to tie everything in together with some master EQ stuff. Uh, I think it goes up to 150 hertz, so you don't get any more bass. And then when the drop hits, it's just like 10 times harder. So that's the whole verse section. It's quite full on this build area here with like plenty of one shots and kind of uplifters just really building up a lot of tension here but we're going to go and take a listen back now let me know what you guys thought of this part and make sure you subscribe so you don't miss part two on friday where we do the drop but thank you very much for watching and let's go and take a listen we'll be 
Five minute playtime will pass this round. 